What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Trading Wars. Today is Monday. A new battle begins. I'm going to be breaking down the intraday price action for the S&P 500. And if you're ready, let's step into the war zone. All right, guys. Monday, new week. Um, we're going to use the support and resistance from Friday as our reference point. So I have Friday's low, Friday's high drawn up as well. So guys, right at the open, we have to determine our bias. And the way we're going to do this is looking at the overnight futures chart. And look what a beauty this was, guys. We had one, two, three, four, five red candles in a row coming into the close. Uh, sorry, it's coming into the open, guys. And look, and look how beautiful this waterfall is. If you go back to some of the videos I talked about last week, this is typical waterfall action that we see. So when we see the market so overextended to the downside outside of the Bollinger Bands, going long um, off at the open is definitely where the bias needs to be um, if you are looking for the immediate long setup. Okay, guys? And where we put this low in on the first five-minute candle is not a coincidence, guys. If we look back over here, we could see that that's Friday's low. So support, support, you know, it's clockwork. Okay, so if you did not get in right off the bat by just going above the high of this candle with a stop loss below the low, we could have just waited for the Fibonacci setup, guys, like this. Boom, have the Fibonacci right here. And we could have taken it to the extensions, um, like I pointed out. So this is what we call a gap fill trade. If you're going long, in this case, you want to go to the fill of the gap from Friday because, you know, this area may act as resistance, guys, okay? So by doing that, we definitely could easily make 2R. We did not know that it was going to go all the way up to 4.6R, but um, for purposes of our tracking, we're going to say, hey, we were conservative and went for 2R as a target to the gap book. And if that didn't work, guys, you could have easily trailed these swing lows here and taken it as far as it went today, and you could have easily made 3 to 4R. But being conservative, I'm going to say we hit 2R, all right? And just wanted to point out, guys, again, I call this long out in the morning. Um, for everyone, right over here, guys, this is the winner. So the original post is right here, guys. All right. 10.06 a.m., boom, boom, Fibonacci, entry, stop. Take it over here, guys, to the end of the day or wherever trail. Take it to the black fill. You're going to make money on that long play. Okay. So, and then what setups do we have for the shorts today? Well, because of this price action in the morning, it's definitely difficult to short. But... If you were able to hold on and be patient, there was a nice double top setup here right at um, resistance. If we look at the high of these candles, guys, 294 to the penny. Over here, these highs, 293.98. So obviously, 294 acting as a nice round number resistance. And then we have the double top confirmation, entry below the low, stop above the high, right that into the close for 2R. So definitely, there's opportunities for both sides to play today, guys. The long was pretty straightforward. Um, and just to illustrate on a 20K account, risking 2% of your account, um, that's $800 long or short. So there's always opportunities to make money. Okay, guys. So um, in terms of the outlook for tomorrow, again, it depends where we open. We, if we open outside of this range, we have to adapt. If we open within this range, we may be trapped in this range tomorrow. Okay. So just to summarize again, guys, gap down at support overnight, we had the confirmation. Um, for the long, double top for the short. Keep it simple and enjoy the rest of your week trading. All right, guys, stay safe and talk to you tomorrow.